So have you ever played a game called Besiege? The White Laboratory is kind of like Besiege. You have to kind of construct fantastic ways to defend your base from enemy constructs. Yeah, oh, now look look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful game. It reminds me a lot of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator in the art style. It's got that very kind of solid, solid feel to it, pastel colors. So I guess you are the cube. The triangle is you. Your core is what you have to defend. And it moves the cube around the map, the core around the map, and you have to, I guess, defend. Simple. Against these cubes. These cubes are coming. We build turrets. The turrets shoot the cubes. So if we put this turret onto this cube, and it'll shoot the dudes coming down. Go for it. It's got a limited range though, so we're going to move this tower a bit closer. Ah, so it never ends. Here come the second round of cubes. And as we destroy cubes, we can use them for our own constructs. That's pretty cool. Ah, but it's only ones that say reusable that are actually reusable. And when you move them, the game slows down. This is actually very cool. We could actually make a uh, little gateway that they can't get through. There we go. And now they have to get through this to continue, but they can't, so our laser turrets will annihilate them. Oh, now there's a turret. Maybe we can get ourselves a new turret. No. Well, there will be a reusable one, I'm sure. There it is. There we go. Put it on top of there. Oh, man. What's going to get past this, though? We've got six lasers now. And I'm running out of places to put the cubes, to be honest. So are they going to get harder? Oh, now, these are a different color. Does that mean they're stronger, tougher, more durable? I think it might do. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, these are taking a real beating. Right, and these cubes have a health that's slowly going back up. But that makes a lot of sense. They have to bust their way through those cubes. So let's advance. Next round. Okay, so we have a fancier location now. We've got some tall turrets, different color. Yellow, I think, is better. So I guess we wait for the uh, enemy machines to make their way. Here they come. Oh, and this line shows their their path. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there's two lanes. Two lanes this time. So putting these turrets high up, higher up gives them a bit more range. Is that true? I guess so. But you've got to be careful that you don't block the line of sight for um, your other turrets that exist in the world. Like, for example, we have a turret up here that's not doing anything. Let's get you back down into the fight, my friend. Are you reusable? No, you've just stopped. Slam. But we can put you on... Let's put you on the side of one of these towers. Oh yeah, you still get quite a big range. Oh, okay, now we've got Rolly Boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So he's hitting the core. Oh, right, okay, so we need to do something quick before these things get through. Maybe put down blocker blocks. To stop the Rolly Boys. Oh, now they're taking a different route. That is not good. We need to... Rethink about our defense strategy. We'll put you up there and put a blocky boy there so that you can't get through. There we go. That should solve our problems. Pew, pew, pew. Off you go. Oh, meanwhile, we have another yellow turret to use in our defense. That'll do. Oh, no. Of course, taking damage. We've got some serious problems over here. We're just not very good. Uh oh. A cube got in! So I guess tutorial over. Man, it's punishing when the cubes take a different route. That really messes up your game plan. Okay, so now we've got a spinny boy. Now, apparently when these turrets spin, they uh, they put out a lot more damage. But their accuracy goes down a fair amount. Let's see it in action. Let's see the spinny boy in action against this giga cube. Wow, this thing's a beast. He's big. Pew, pew, pew. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Absolutely shredded. So if you get a spinny thing moving, you get more bullets, and the more bullets, the less accurate, but the more bullets. So, you know. Makes sense. So this thing should probably not hit any of these things on this smaller cube. Oh yeah, yeah, none of them are hitting. That's pretty weak. So let's put a more accurate one down here at the bottom. 
So we're slaying the waves now. But I really want one of those cylinders. I want to get another spinny woo. There it is. I need one of these. Oh, but they're so quick. We're not actually getting them. So we need maybe some blockers. There we go. That should help. Right. So let's build another spinny turret. There we go. Oh, so it's got gravity as well. This thing uh, kind of spins in a weird way because it's a bit lopsided. Physics. Exciting. There we go. Now another super spin turret. No, I need that. Oh my god, I keep losing my bits. And the blocker down. So obviously it's not efficient to keep blocking the path because when these blocks break, we're going to run out eventually. And that's a bad situation to be in. We should also get these turrets down so we can get some more firepower going down. Put one on top of here as well, why not? Just for the craziness. Whoa. Oh no, he smashed a turret! That's not good. So these ones are green, which I guess makes them even stronger than the yellows and the other ones. A large wave of cubes is coming from the pipeline. So this is the pipeline. Put you on top. Oh no! We lost one of the spinny towers. Something kind of collided with it. And uh, yeah, smashed the turret. Interesting. A few too many of the cylinders got through this. Oh my god, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We need to get some cubes over here, stat. So can you bring out these cubes? You can, you can have them lean over from the side. There we go, this should shut these guys down. Pretty hardcore. Nice. Thought you'd be sneaky there and try and crawl around the back of the perimeter. Not today. Location secure, so we can transit, advance, rotate, advance. Yes, here we go. Next map. Okay, so it's time to defend, and oh man, look at this crazy platform here. Wait, what? What? Are that those enemy turrets? Oh, look at these cool lasers. They're not doing very good though, are they? Move you over here. Get some more laser action on. What are we supposed to do here? This is hard as nails! Oh my god, they're destroying the core! Oh! Just got very dark. Uh, okay. So I feel like this whole, whole setup here is a bit pointless. So we'll put this back on top of there. And let's chuck some spinners on that. That bad boy. Wait, we haven't got enough turrets to go around. Oh, you're kind of useless, aren't you? And we'll give you a counterweight so you don't spin off your block. Oh, they're getting in, they're getting in. This is so hard. We are toast! The core's down! What did we do wrong? What should we have done right there? Oh, this is savage! What do we do? Were we not done here? Do we have to complete this bit? Right, so we've got another laser. Put this one on top of there, of here. I'm not sure if this is going to upset its accuracy though. Oh yeah, it's not actually hitting anything, it's just hitting the, uh, the laser turrets underneath it, which might actually be damaging them. Oh, this is a tough one. I don't know if it got harder. Or just different. No, wait, wait! Oh, no. Well, my balls keep falling off. I really want one of them spinners, you know? Here we go, a spinner! Oh, we missed it! No, we got it, we got it, we got it. We want a blocker, I think. Stop these guys getting through. Maybe two. Two blockers. Nice! Now we've got another spinner, so we can get another spinny woo on the go. Close. In fact, why stop at one spinny when we can go for two? 
There we go, two spinning towers of doom. Let's see how they perform. Oh, another mega cube. But I definitely have the firepower for it now. Oh, yeah. Slam! Oh, we're losing a lot of cubes, but it doesn't matter, because uh, the firepower that we're putting out is pretty insane. Oh, the cubes are breaking through. But the ones up at the top are getting absolutely savaged by these double spinny lasers. Oh, no, no! If we catch our turrets before we lose them. Oh. Let's put some more turrets up here. So this should work better. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, this is fantastic. Not a single block through so far, or... Did we get a block through, actually? Yeah, I think we did. Maybe we did. Oh, no! Oh, right, of course! We need to do something about these cubes over here. So we're gonna relocate... ...some of these turrets. There we go. One... Two... Three... And now, the fourth turret. So we have another spinny woo now up top. This should do okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely savaging these cubes! Location secure. Recovering docked platforms. Oh, nice! So now, now that we've done this little area, we can transit, rotate, advance. I guess you want to rotate if one of your sides is a bit weaker, and you want to protect it. But what does transit do? So we... Uh, two is the next map. Because this was insanely hard. Because it feels like this little setup here is woefully inadequate. I mean, look at this. But the train's coming now, so the train should smash some cubes, right? Yeah, there it goes. Oh, oh, look. We've got loads and loads of extra... Turrets. So if we put these all around this bad boy, and we're going to make the mega turret. Got to be careful that we can to balance it correctly. Oh no, they're not hitting very well at all, are they? Oh my god! Are you supposed to do that? This is hard as nails. But I feel like once you get into it, once you understand the nuances to this game, it's probably super rewarding. This has been pretty intense though. Thank you for watching. This has been a look at The White Laboratory. It's on Steam right now. Uh, it's very cheap at the price of like six or seven pounds, which is insanely cheap for what it is. It's a very good game, so I encourage you to check it out, especially if you like complex tower defense games and ones that really make you think. It adds like a whole new element that your towers can be destroyed. I've been Shin, thank you for watching. As always, you can hit like if you like, subscribe if you wanted to, and maybe even become a member, uh, but that is up to you entirely. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas for more Shindy games, drop a note if there's something you'd like me to play, put it in the comments section. Until next time, take care.